Good afternoon on this Veterans Day. I'm Patrick Little. It is a day paying tribute to those serving in America's armed forces and thanking vets for that service. Sheena Loshudo joining us live now in East Providence at a local event taking place. Hello, Sheena. Hi, Patrick. This morning we were at the Garden of Flags here in East Providence, where we really saw a moving and powerful ceremony, just honoring and thanking all of those who have served this country. Now surrounded by the red, white and blue, the beautiful American flags. We saw several speakers here this morning asking Rhode Islanders to use today as a reminder to always be thankful for veterans for their brave service and the freedoms they fought for and to share that message with generations to come. When I came home Vietnam, there was nobody there. That's the truth. Nobody, except my family. There was no honors, there was no parades, there was no thank yous. It was just come home, get out, go back to work, and keep going. And that's what I've tried to do all my life. So today is a moment for Rhode Island to pause and think of the veterans in our lives and those who are no longer with us and say thank you. Now, this was just one local event being held here today, honoring the brave men and women of our country. We do plan on going to at least one more. So later tonight, I'll have much more from our very own local veterans. For now, reporting live in East Providence, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.